If you're like me, then you definitely love when a good single price deck starts pulling some numbers. And that is exactly what's been happening today with the Reggie Drago's Dragon Energy, the two grass, one fire, 240 damage. There's this one Donny, all right, on Limitless, just going crazy with this card. He's called Hansy Wansy, and he's been B-Bill deck. And his most recent one that he's done, performing well in a tournament with, I forgot what place he came, I think it was a top four placement. Um, but yeah, it's sort of the first time they, they've come very high up with a Reggie Jargo list. But it plays cards like Zarud, which is really good against the Charizard, and also good against Cramorants. Because I actually tried an, an earlier version of Hansy Wansy's deck, I actually, it's gonna be so. It's just weird saying handsy wansy, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I, I tried that list before and I was like, the Reggie Dragos are great and all, but as soon as you come up against a cram, you're in trouble because he hits 110, doesn't care with the Charizard. Sorry, the Reggie Drago, that's not a Charizard, that's a fraud. Um, then you're, you're stuck doing no damage, and that's a big, big problem. So, so Rude helps with that, and also, you know, come up against Charizard EX, that's where the Zard came in my head. You can just one it KO it with some good amount of energy on that, and that's not a problem with the Cherry and Spring Bloom being able to accelerate any grass energy to any of your single prize Pokemon in play, basically. Well, as long as they don't have a rule box. So, fortunately, Greninja cannot take it, even though it is a single prizer. But there is also a weird DV in here. What? <laughs> There's a weird DV in here. You've obviously got a bunch of energy in play. You could just come in weirder in the late game, just take massive KOs. So that's a really cool inclusion to see. And one weird one, Torco. This was included evidently because of the rise of Goldengo. Goldengo has been popping off. When As soon as people realize, oh, we could put Power Cure in it, there you go. All of a sudden, it's now one of the best decks in the format. So, Torkoal, 130 with that flamethrower could just insta one at KO a Goldengo, which is a, sorry, uh, obviously a thing this deck struggles uh, struggles with otherwise. So, um, but yeah, that's basically the premise. Just a bunch of earthen vessels, a bunch of superior energy retrievals, just going with Jerem and going down that route. The only thing I don't like about this build is it has a very low support account. And with a 1-1 one, one bit line, hmm, you can break. But, that's the premise of the deck. I think it's really cool. It's really nice to see Reggie Drago do well. I think I said the last time I covered this card that it still has great potential. So, and I think the biggest thing about it is Jirachi, because Jirachi just stops this getting KO'd so easy by Sableye, which is the only thing really holding it back. So let's get some games and see how this bad boy plays. And a quick shout out to our sponsors, PDCGL Store, where you can buy codes to bling out your decks using code FDW for 5% off. TCG Bulk, where you can buy and sell your bulk cards and whatnot. But you can buy and sell collectible Pokemon cards live. And they're even giving you £10 off your first purchase using my special link. Links to all sponsors are in the description below. But for now, let's get going. All right, here we are playing the moon, which is fine for us because of course we Deal with that quite nicely with the weakness. Uh, I'm going to go for a nest ball and get myself... Do I go for a Cherubi here? Um, yeah, I think I do. Because I'm trying to think what basics I want down right now. Do I have... The ba I don't have the bib barrel. Yuff! <laughs> fine, fine, fine. I'll get myself a Cherubi down. All right, let's do that. Could save the level ball, right? Here's the thing. They're probably getting a KO on me next turn. Is it worth the gamble? I don't know, so it may actually be worth me playing the level ball here to just get a Pokemon that if I do get KO'd, then I can come up with the news as a pivot. But then again, I can do that anyway with the hand that I have. It's so, actually no, no, that's not true. No, it is, it is. So maybe I just pass, because this level also gets me Cherim. So I'm gonna pass it up because if they whiff it, I could do some serious stuff. I just get a Reggie Drago going instantly. Also, I've got an idea, right, an idea for uh, what's coming up uh, and, and the change that I've made to this channel. So first off, I, I want to say thank you. The support for that video where I put out mentioning the fact that I might be developing Carpal Tunnel, which already, by the way, has started to kind of calm itself down now um, that I've just taken less time on the computer in general. And um, I'm not going back anytime soon to the, to the highly edited stuff, but I wanted to post this and I might do a poll on this as well. Um, to get some input as well, but I'm tempted to still do cut gameplay, but just let the auto editor do it. You know, uh, for those who don't know, I already ha was using an auto editor, by the way. So don't worry. It's not like I'm, it's, it's, you know, just giving it to a robot and it's going to come out crap. The way I've, you've been watching my videos for the past week or so, or even week and a half, have been all used. I've all used auto editors for that. So I'm still tempted to just because the, the the reason why I took a lot of time to go through even with an auto editor was because I did multiple face cams, right? I did a face cam, a close-up face cam, um, and I recorded my face cam and the gameplay separately. Now I'm recording it all in one go, right? So this little square you're seeing is plastered to the screen. I can't take it off. I can't zoom in on it, which I don't like, but that's the way we've had to go. 
doesn't mean I can't cut it though. I could always just run it through an auto editor, throw it into Premiere Pro, which is my editing software, and then just watch it and make sure it's fine. And I don't have to go through the ed extra editing steps um, that I usually take to have multiple face cam zooms in, effects and stuff. See, that's what I thought was going to happen. For God's sake, it should have bent something. Um, I, I, should I go for that? Should I trial that? That way the, 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 the content still cuts up and it's still, you know, time efficient, but there's just not much crazy edits going on instead. So I, I'm tempted to do that because obviously I, I do want to do well um, in terms of my content. I want to get the most out of it as I can in terms of creativity, I guess, or in terms of style, what I like, you know, my, my type of content. So I'm going to have to sit here and just, I had to take a blow there, unfortunately. I just had to take a blow. I'm going to get Manaphy down and probably Iono here. Actually, I can counter catch it. That's good. Uh, it's not going to do much in this kind of deck, but I'm tempted to just Iono. Or maybe I'll attach an energy. I'll attach an energy here and then I Iono because if they do get the KO, this, this, this list doesn't play any switch cards, so you need pivots, and that sets it up. That's nice. Okay, see? Now next turn, if we do so much as get a... Well, if they KO us. Actually, not even that. If they don't KO us, we get a KO. So we're looking fine. Now, I'm tempted to get Zarud. Zarud Sandstorm. But I think we get more output with little energy, with less energy on the Reggie. So I'm going to throw the Reggie down in my turn. Because the reason why... All right, let me explain. Is... We hit the weakness, fine, but, well, yeah, actually, to be fair, Zerud is three grass energy for a KO. This would be two grass and one fire. But here's the thing. They could throw down a uh, tool card, right? What's, what's the tool card called again? The, the booster capsule? They throw that on there. It brings the Royal Moons to 90, meaning my Reggie Jugger can't one it KO it. And my Zerud still could with one extra energy attached on it. So... That's why the Zerud's te te technically better if they play the tool card. If not, then the Reggie Drago is better because of the obvious fact that we could just one it KO Moons like this, which we're going to do. And that is why this deck is actually kind of good right now because it's just taking advantage of these turbo decks, which are everywhere on the ladder, by the way. So there's that kind of taking advantage. Also, I should now Artisan while I'm here. Yes. <laughs> oh, God. Just a couple buffs has given this deck so much now. Um, get Badoof down. If we get Ibi Barrel from the prizes, we are absolutely cooking. And if not, we have Superior Energy Retrieval. So if they take a KO on us here, then we are still cooking. So, oh, look at that. Come on, son. Give me more. Oh, yes. I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. So, yeah, genuinely, is, is that something you'd want to do? Would you want to see that cut up? Or would you actually just rather me keep it raw gameplay? Genuinely want to know. Um, obviously, my 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 the, the video style still kind of changed. Like now, it's Waffle TCG all day, all long. That kind of made no sense. It's all day long, not all day all. We'll leave that there. <laughs> yeah. um, so it's a bit more Waffle TCG here, where I just talk to the camera for about forty minutes, or the ones before where I uh, it, it's more fine tuned and to the point. I don't know. I'm 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 genuinely curious about this stuff. As you know, I love content creation. I know none of you really care. But I still have to hear the thoughts. Right. Before we go any further, do I do I bench this Zerud and Earth and Vessel with superior energy retrieval? Um, the thought process is that if I get rid of a retrieval, I don't want to lose those resources. Have I played one already? I haven't. And it does keep my Zerud. And that could be good for just finishing out the game. A simple gust on this actually would do the job. So the more I talk, but then I already have a Zerud in here, you know, uh, another one. So uh, uh, it's actually kind of a weird decision, but I'm going to play Earth and Vessel and uh, no, that's an attacker. I've got to keep it right. I've got to keep it. Um, also, I actually still need a fire energy, so I don't know why I'm, what, what I'm talking about here. Yeah, I think I still keep it. I think I still keep the Zerud. I think that was the right choice. I hope that was the right choice. Also, when testing, I actually had a Terran bug, which is just wild, where it kind of just froze the game. Similar to like what Gardevoir was like. Yeah, wild, man. Right, I'm going to Superior Energy Retrieval, and I'm going to get rid of the Greninja and the Ultra Ball, I think. Um, this list plays a 2 2. Actually, I've already got the Cherim down, haven't I? So I might as well just get rid of the Cher. Uh, yeah, yeah. You could still be good for draw. It's a 2 2 line, which is a bit, I'm a bit less comfortable with, if I'm honest. I would rather a 3 2 line, if anything. 
So I could always have that extra ch um, Cherubi on the bench because if they target this, then it's kind of a wrap, which is why we're preparing for it. We're doing what Chen Pao likes to do, and that's just kind of load up, you know, <laughs> and just run it. Do I throw you down for any reason? Um, not really, is it? No, no. I think I just, I could throw this down. Nah, just, I'll just take the Dragon Energy KO. This is so, so clean. I'm loving this, man. Really, really like Magic Drago. I think it's a really good deck ultimately. And it always is that deck that kind of just lurks, you know? But for me, it's that Jirachi. That Jirachi just goes such a long way. This is a kind of deck that can do that weird, awkward bench, right? Of having to throw a Manaphy and a Jirachi down. It can do it, right? It does mean you're limited to that one Cherub, Cherim. But Cherim, the barrel, two attackers, Manaphy and Jirachi. It's not the best board state. But if it saves you from losing to a Lost Box, then yeah, it's worth it, right? That said... Their, their goal is going to be to target the Cherim if you're playing Lost Box. So you still need a bench spot for Jerubi. Maybe you cut out the big barrel. See, that, that's what I'm saying. It's still somewhat awkward. But that said, it's far better than what it was, which I think goes a long way. And it's just nice to be in a format where you can have these kind of support Pokemon and then actually be viable somewhat, you know, just and, and, and have Sableye in the format still, you know. I'm a big, big fan of that. Right. They're thinking about what they want to do because they're kind of in a in a in a, in a pickle. The correct thing for them to do, I guess, would be to attack my Reggie. My Reggie does how much less damage? 20 less damage. So if they attack my, attack my Reggie, I do 140 less damage. Oh, no. That means I'm still KOing the Morpeko. <laughs> if they knock out my Reggie, that's bad because they're probably doing it with a Grass Week Pokemon, which... Hello! This is it! So that's a probably bad idea. Ultimately, I think we've kind of checkmated them a little bit. Say this Vitality, and yeah, this is the moon that doesn't seem to play that tool card. The, is it Energy Booster Capsule? Is that? I don't know. Um, but ultimately, if they don't play that, yeah, all I've got to do is throw one energy on this Donny, and that's two, 240? Yeah, so we're cooking, bro. We're cooking. We're absolutely fine. Smooth sailing. In fact, this is probably like the ideal matchup. I actually tried, by the way, playing this in a tournament, and... Two bad matchups. I'm like, okay, no, nope, I'm done. <laughs> and stupid mistakes. I've actually played a little bit with this Reggie already to try and iron out my misplays. Because my God, was I misplaying with this deck so much. Like, I think that was a turn where I was playing against something. I think it was a Lost Box. Yeah, it was a Lost Box. And I had Jirachi in play, right? Now, this deck plays Clara. I had Clara. And I was like, oh, I can Iono them here, right? They've got a bigger hand. It's my turn, right? And I'm ahead of the price trade, mind you. It's a single prize matchup, so the, being ahead of the prize trade means you just win, so long as they don't take a multiple prize turn, which Sableye likes doing. And I had Jirachi in place. So I was like, yeah, Sableye's safe. And I was like, okay, I've got, in case they gust up my Jirachi, I've got Clara in hand. Then I just so stupidly decide to play Iono. They then bossed up my Jirachi, and then afterwards took two prizes with Sableye. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that, that kind of stuff infuriated me so much. Um, I just scooped. <laughs> and I also was like, I'm never showing that footage ever again. I could, weird him. <laughs> I could do that, but there's really no need, is there? It's it's so pointless. It is, it is just ultra pointless. All right, I'm going to just get you and throw an artisan down, throw this into play, and then incisors. And that's my best odds there you go that my friends we could even go further but i ain't no bad manners donny no if you got bad manners you're not donny in the first place here you go 280 damage off your pop back to the bedroom all right it's bedtime for you sleepies that that was meant to be a snore <laughs> starting a jirachi you hate to see it and i think we're paying another moon <laughs> i'm on ranked and i'm not picking my matches i swear to you I could literally upload the whole VOD and you'd see. I promise you, this is like genuine. I just got into the next game and I think I've got another moon. So, hey, listen, we get what we're given. Um, I think I Cherubi. No, 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 no. Don't be stupid, Sean. We go for a Reggie Drago. Or do we go for the Zarude? I, I kind of like Zarude Sandstorm, but we're going to go for the Dragon Fister. And from there, I can then level ball for a Cherubi. Also, I didn't check if I had... <coughs> the coughs. We've got Big Barrel. We do. Mm, yeah. I kind of like B B Bidoof better. I kind of do. Now nah, I regret Artisaning. Yeah, I should have got a Bidoof and a Cheruby. And then just went, those are my evolution Pokemon. Next turn I can get Reggie Drago. Yeah, I failed that. 
I felt that and someone's gonna be very angry at me for that. But you know what? We are here. So let's just, let's just throw it to Ruby down. I'll uh, pay for my mistakes next turn. Don't worry. I'm sure that will happen. I think we end turn or mm, yeah. Yeah, because Sharon could accelerate to this anyway if I need to retreat it. But I think I might need one more turn because I'm an idiot. Should have, <laughs> come on, bro. Sequencing, you get the Bidoof down. And then from there, you, 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 you just start us in again. Uh, see, I, this is what I was trying to iron out when I was play testing this deck first. I was like, let me, let me yeah, there's a lot more secrecy in this deck than it looks like, okay? Please cut me some slack. Uh, ooh, hands. Oh my God, this deck plays hands. Was it Azul that made a video on the hands arena? Huh? On the hands with the, no, who made it? Did someone make a video on the, the moon with the hands? I think it was Azul, right? If it is, please stop doing this, okay? <laughs> Blood's out here trying to earn a living, you know, all right? I'm trying to, trying to get my, my yeah, uh, trying to do my business. And it is Donny out here trying to ruin it for me by making these kind of decks behave. At least I think it was him. So, they have uh, an engine of the Moltres. It seems like it's going to be a bit of a... No, it's not going to be a bit of a flop because they haven't used their Squawk Billy yet. Oh, God. Just typical stuff then. But that said, hey, if I just get an energy or an injury... Uh, there's a lot of vessel in this deck, you know? A lot of vessels. So if they if I get in the vessel, I can get your fire energy, take in Koyo, and uh, uh, we're doing far better than anything else. Uh, okay. There's a dark patch, and they get an energy on that Roaring Moon. And they are now... No, they still have their V-Star power. Oh, brother. Poker stop. Oh, energy switch. Jesus, they are... Two VIP pass. Oh, it's, they're still turn one. Oh, come off it. <laughs> Just pop off, Milade. It's all right. It's fine. They can pop off. They can do their ting. We, all right, we, 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 we do our ting. You know what I'm saying? We'll take easy KOs, brother. They're going to go for the Roaring Moon. Obviously going to Calamity Storm here. I'm assuming they don't want to give me the Poke Stop and also they don't want to Frenzied Gouging because if they ever did that, uh, we just hammer in. But unfortunately, that's not going to be the case here. That said, if I have to hammer in this turn, it's still not a bad call, right? Because if they Calamity Storm the Poke Stop away, and they don't have anything else? Uh, oh no, they didn't. <sighs> Bro, am I dumb? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, let me stop the energy damage base. I don't, need to... <sighs> I don't even need to get rid of it. So we are kind of in trouble here. Oh, uh, no, that's not good, is it? Uh, poke stop, poke stop. Yeah, poke, mm, poke stop actually kind of good, you know. Get me a vessel and we're talking. Okay, just, 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 just punish me now. Thank you. I appreciate the punishment. I deserve it. Do I go for a hammer in, or do I just like try and get a weird air charged up or something? Um, no, no, because they can calamity storm that weird is a bad call. Ay ay ay! I am in trouble. All right, I guess we're just gonna do it. I guess we're just gonna go for a hammer in. I don't know, man. I don't know. All right, I messed up. Okay, I, I made a, I made a mistake. I was wrong. I'm sorry. Can you please take me back? <laughs> please don't leave me. Oh god, her hammer in for 30 damage. And that just feels rough, bro. Oh bro. This is my fault. It's, it's it's me. I'm the problem. I get it. I'm, it's fine. I understand. I keep it at my desk as well. Um right, yeah, so I, I I'm gonna slowly distance myself, which is a psychological process uh pro pro progress. Psychological process. Um in it, it's a defense mechanism where one de de uh, distances themselves from their errors to uh, de de detach their personality and decisions uh, and who they are to the awful decision that they just made. So I'm going to... Now let's talk about something else <laughs> So I slowly get demolished. So um, I forgot what I was going to say. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Thank you for the support for the video. Yeah, um, honestly, a lot of it helps. I saw the suggestion of getting a vertical mouse, um, which I'm going to look into as soon as I get the money, because I know they're a little bit on the expensive side. And if I get one, I want one that's like, it does the job. You know, it's, it's the things you use every day that you have to get, that you usually should pay the most, the premium for, right? Because they're the stuff you use every day. So if you have, I don't know, if you use a hairbrush every day, let's say, you need a good hairbrush, right? Because you use it every day. Um, so yeah, that would be something I would use every day. So. I want it to be a good quality one, one that's going to do the job, isn't going to break down on me, you know? So I'm looking into that. So thank you for those who gave the tips on that as well. Um, I've also done the thing where I kind of, uh, I kind of almost used my mouse, like a vertical mouse, 
Uh, for those who have no idea what I'm waffling about, if you're just watching this video just because you saw this and clicked on it, you don't know who I am. I think I'm out of Carpet Tunnel, so I'm trying to manage that, and a lot of you guys helped in that video. Um, okay, that's just, uh, that's just, that's just, okay. That's the other side of the coin. That's a, g <laughs> please, just let me scoop. Thank you. <laughs> oh, God, that was terrible. Sarantula. Okay, thankfully, we've got some lovely mulligans on our side as well. But I'm a bit worried about what this is, because it's put ups, and that means they're going to try and me at some point. Um... I'm a bit concerned. Truby coming down. I'm going to go for an artisan here. Was that going to help them more? Oh, do I need to play artisan now? I mean, let me nest ball quickly. I know I'm going to do that. Let me think. Because I could save the artisan until next turn. You know, I don't have to. So I might pass up on that opportunity. And because I don't know what I'm up against, I'm also kind of scared to earth and vessel. So I think I just, I think I'm going to go for an energy on the Zarud. And I think I'm going to pass. Because I don't want to give them any support with the artisan. And uh, I also don't know exactly what I'm up against yet. Okay, it's Pidox, but is it like Venomoth? Is it, because Venomoth would be very troublesome. Is it a, uh, like a, a Leafeon VMAX? I just don't know. Also, they play Great Ball, <laughs> which is also interesting. And no, what you ask, this isn't casual, okay? Uh, I, no, I don't play casual in videos. I think I've proven that, but I just want to clarify, because I know some people get, yeah, he's playing decking casual because he's losing so much. Brother, no, okay? Get over you, get off your eye horse, all right? Chill out. So I think they're going to go for a string haul here. Um, bench Pokemon in the next... Oh, they're going to try and... Oh, hold on. Don't get heads on that. Behave. Okay, they don't. <laughs> so come off it. The one thing that would just kind of get on my nerves is just some gusting. It doesn't matter too much, but, you know, it's there. Right. So I think I'm now Artisan. And I think what I've got to work on here, because I don't think Manaphy is important, is get a bit barrel first. And, you know, if all else fails, I can always go for a peak call. A pack cool? Pack cool. Yeah, pack cool. Pac Man. And from there, start working. But I think. I oh, see the Spadops. Actually, the no, Spadops need to fire. <gasps> oh, Torco coming, sir. A weird tech coming in. <laughs> um, Could have vessel, but I want to keep my retrievals. I don't think I'm pulling an attack off this turn, I'll be honest. Oh, wow. I might be, actually. In fact, why not? Let's get a chair him out. And I'm then in. I know I said I like want my retrievals, but. I think boss is probably better. So I'm going to go for that and just have a vessel for two energy here. And then just attack with that. I was planning to go for pack call and get myself a Cherim. Which is a really neat, like, bonus attack in this archetype. Where you, you know, if you have a bit of a weird hand. And let's say you just start as a rude and manage to get a Cherubi down. Which is quite common. Then you can just go for, if you go, especially if you're going second first. You can pack call for, like, three Pokemon. So get, like, a... Uh, Another, like a couple, another Zarude or something like that, and uh, a Cherim and all that jazz. Or in turns where you are struggling naturally, a Pat Call can always come in clutch. So, yeah, I quite like that. And I see why Zarude is included. But, yeah, for me, I was always reluctant to it can, uh, include this because its damage output so low. You know what I mean? Like, free energy only doing 120. It, it don't feel right. Okay, they're going to try and go for a boss and, like, probably try and stick me here. Here's to hoping they haven't got a Spadops to play around with. Uh, okay, they go for a bug bite. Lovely. So they're struggling, which I will take any day of the week. And me, I'm going to have to make some decisions here. I'm just going to do it. I'm not going to think, bro. Who needs a brain when you have hands? Okay. It, it just... Actually, that could be taken out of context so badly. Can't <laughs> Who needs a brain when you have hands? Says every person in court. Um, all right. Uh, let's go for an artisan uh, to thin out. Is that no? I'll keep the bench spot alive. You never know. I'm trying to think here. I don't know for sure. Don't want to be that destructive. Get rid of my retrievals. Jesus. They're like the core of the deck. It's like the point. And we get nothing to retreat with, unfortunately. So, kind of just like chilling. We're just vibing. End our turn and go from there. I'm worried about how many cast options they've got. That's what I'm concerned about. Not too bothered by the hammers. If I'm honest, got a mini or Okay. Oh, wait. No way is this a Spidop's mini or yet. <laughs> no shots. What? No way. <laughs> right. First off, they're already hitting my barrel for weakness. So there's that. They pay Cardinia's bike. <coughs> what is this, brother? All right. Now you've got my attention. Okay. My attention is, is, is here. It's secure. Is this just a tech? Mini or Spidop's? What? <laughs> so mini or does 20. But each in your retreat cost, but ups up your retreat cost, therefore Minio does more. But like, nah, Minio's just got to be a tech, isn't it? It has to be a tech. There's no shot that it's anything other than a tech. Let's throw the fire here. 
gonna have to throw down a Reggie Drago, which I don't like. I could also go for a Super Rod, which again, I don't like. But hey, there's no harm in recovering that chair, right? I've got a Truby chilling on the bench, so and this is all too thin. I need to draw cards if I just get a simple grass, which I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so if I get, yeah, if I get, if I just get grass. Come on, give me. I, I know I don't touch grass all the time. This is my only way to supplement. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. All right, there we are. Spring boom onto the barrel. It will be able to retreat, thankfully. And we will be able to go for a swing there. That bugged out there for a second. Am I fine? I think I'm fine. Last time I checked, I'm all Gucci. There we go. Repeated whip. 4120 taking out that Tarantula. They're going to come up with another one, obviously, um, and probably start attacking. But I'm worried about a counter catcher. That's what I'm worried about. Because, like, Spidox counter catcher? Can't, maybe I should do a video on that. Spidox kind of bad, right? It, let's be real. Spidox is kind of a bad card. But counter catcher. Pass to the peaks rotating as well, so you can't shut off the trap territory, you know? It's just people, when, this is the thing, right? And I do this myself. When people see a card like Spidops or Spidops, they, they they automatically in the head picture four of these in play. It's like, oh, four, four of them in play, that's like four extra retreat costs, that's uh, 100 extra, 120 extra damage, they're hitting 210, it's like, yeah. In what world are you getting all four Spidops out, my friend? Let's be real, okay? Unless you're specifically designed for that, it ain't happening, so. But maybe I'll do a deck that's specifically designed for it and try and go from there because I really like the idea of the, the counter catcher and this for dots, you know, just gust something up and you know give it a swing, it can't retreat. And then you know you go go down that route. Especially like a Zard matchup. Like, you know, it's swinging up bringing up uh, a, a Pidgeot, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> give it like free retreat costs. I'm like, just go, I'm just gonna double swing you for KO. You know, that sounds like fun. And you already hit Charizard for weakness anyway, so sounds like a good run into Charizard. Anyway, we Need to start using the coal. Uh, plan for the coal. Oh, 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 yes. Look at that for a top deck. Right, let's throw that on the coal. And we need to get a retrieval now, which I've shuffled to the bottom of my deck. So, I'm going to Artisan to actually reset that. Could also get another. I want to keep my bench space free. I could also recover some energy. But in two... Actually, I could recover one fire, one grass, and as a rude. But I'm not going to. Because when I hit retrieval, we're good. And the Otomi, there's no point in just adding one energy. But okay. Okay. All right, then. All right. I'm tempted to Ultra Ball here. Just like to Ultra Thin. Is it worth it? It might be worth it, right? It might actually be worth it. We still got Rod. Yeah, it's going to be worth it. I'm going to Ultra Ball here. And I'm going to get myself. I could go for a weird deer. I could also go for a ninja. For even extra draw if I need it. No, nope, no, we don't need that. I'm going to get Ninja in play. No, I'm not going to use it, granted. But I'm just going to get it down so... I don't know, if they get a KO on my barrel or something, you know, I could do something. You know what I'm saying? So let's go for an incisors. And we just need some energy retrieval. Oh, oh, oh yes. It's going to come at a cost of two balls, but that's fine. I already have two of them, so it makes up. And we'll get the energy back. And we're about to flamethrower a Donny, which is an attack I haven't announced since I played black and white. You know what I'm saying? That's the last VGC game I played, by the way, for those wondering. That's insane. Oh, one more. There you go. Don't get... Calm down, Sean, you boy. Calm down. Could also conceal cards here. Why not? Let's go for it. Fine. Let's make use of Greninja. And that's paid off. Flame throw off for 260 damage. <laughs> what a world we live in. Discard an energy. Sure thing. Off your pop. That works fine for me. They're obviously going to bring this Torkoal back up. Uh, not back up, sorry. They're going to KO the Torkoal here. But if I could get a Gust on the Mew, we, we, we win, right? Or I, I might just obviously swing with Reggie Drago and then just try and find that Rod. We play two Rods, so we also have a Clara, bear in mind. So even if we Clara, we could be cooking. So there's, there's options. I like the fact that you can reuse your attackers a little bit, which is nice. So that said, I think Torkoal is legitimately just served its purpose here. It just went, right, I'm here to one it KO one of your Donnies, just give you that crazy advantage in the prize trade, and then I'm off to bed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm off. See you later, mate. Time to uh, to chill out. So they go for a wire hang, and I think here, obviously, we attack with Reggie Drago. Just contemplating, do I just like hard research? That feels bad. Maybe I should just get another... Yeah, I actually think I should get two Reggie Dragos just charged up here, because I can. Um, it means that we lose the Torkoal play here, but I'd rather just 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 double attack here. I think it's it's probably our best bet. So I'll go for a superior energy retrieval. I recover two fire, 
and two grass. And that way, I have pretty much what I need. That means I can't go for a research here. Uh, how many retrievals have I used, by the way? I need to think about this. I've used three. We've got one left. I'm going to go for it in sizes. And I think the more energy I save, the better now. So I don't think I can seal cards either. That said, right? That said. Oh, no, no, no. Energy is in the prize. I think fire. So I need this fire. I cannot. For the life of me, I cannot and should not. Yeah, uh, go for a research. I have to go for... Well, I don't have to. But I'm going to conceal cards. I'm looking for boss. Okay. Huh. Well, that actually is kind of good. So 240, funnily enough, I think if they just KO with the Spadops here, we still win with Hammer in. <laughs> so, you know, there's that, at least on our side. So we're looking pretty darn good, if you were to ask me, I think. That said, this is a very strange match. And I promise I didn't pick them. I swear, I didn't pick them. I've come up against literally just Moons. Um, I think I had another game as well where I had like a really, really bad start and lost after like two turns. I'm not going to show that, obviously. So other than that, it's just been moons. I think a rough start and then this. Like, I swear to you, genuinely, because it really looks like I hadn't picked this game, but I didn't. <laughs> I really didn't. I really, really didn't. I just don't know why there was so much moon going on. The next thing you know, I've got Spinops Miniotic, <laughs> which is so cool in concept. Because this Minio is actually still hitting some relatively decent damage, I think. Two, four, six, eight. Oh, no, they're hitting 80 damage. <laughs> Yeah, cut out the Minios, Chief. All right, I, I get it. I get against Arceus, against Snorlax, you're cooking. But other than that, is there really a case for to be playing Minio? I'm sure there's better attackers that can you know, take advantage of the Spadops thing, I guess you could say. But yeah, that's, that's that. <laughs> that is that. Right, so we're going to throw up the Reggie and we're just going to go. Do you know what? Let's do it with a hammering as well, just for a bit of a flex. We we'll just, we'll just, we'll just, we'll just, honk. You know, you know, little bonk. there you go. GG's to my opponent. And that is lovely. And here is the deck list for all you frauds. What do you think? I was going to sit there and go, no, no, there it is. <laughs> I brought it back. Wait, wait, it's me again, but with PDCG. Okay, fine, 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 fine. There you go. There is the deck list for you to try for yourself. I had a really good time with this one, to be fair to you. If anything I would suggest is maybe go to three to Ruby because it can be awkward sometimes. Um, the one card I really don't see myself using a lot is Weird here, but maybe because I'm just too scared. I don't know, but uh, man, this archetype is really good right now because of the Earth and Vessel coming in, because of that Jirachi coming in. Like there's, there's, the Paradox Rift has buffed this archetype with the cards it literally needs to be actual to pull off what it needs to pull off. It's just that. Good. That said, did Earth and Vessel come from Paradox Rift or did it come from Obsidian Flames? No, it's Paradox Rift. Right. No, Obsidian Flames. I don't know. Anyway, that's it. Bye-bye.